Welcome everyone to exercise number 12b in which we will ask yourself okay how to make a new feature out of a union out of two features or more features and by doing so we will also create a new feature in our project to uh, um, define areas where we can cut trees here in this uh, uh, lease and so we will start with some buffer zones where we are not allowed to cut trees and a feature called stands where it's possible to cut trees due to this, uh, the fact that it's our land and so these are the areas and first of all I would like to introduce you to the union function to create one feature that will represent our no cut areas so you can either go on geoprocessing say union or you can choose the analyst tool overlay and union there we will go to geoprocessing union and we have some input features as you can see here this is the input and the output will remain all differences so we will have two inputs the stream buffers and also the nest buffers and we will store it here in our geo database uh, called Tongas MDB. This one is a default database, so always check whether it is a correct database or not. And we will save it as no cut areas. I've done this before, so don't be um, confused. So we'll just click on OK, and the results will be shown in a few minutes, or a few minutes, a few seconds, sorry for that. So we are now having here 1,200 features. Think th I think these are a little bit more. So we, I will add this now to the um, to the output. And as you can see here, all these have very uh, specific. Um, yeah, how do I call it? Um, geometries. And let's have a look here in the attribute table for that layer. So you can see here uh, an FID for the stream buffer, so the original FID for the stream buffer, and an original FID for the nest buffer. And um, there is a possibility to have an overlap between these both. So let's go to this one here. There's a nest buffer of one, so it belongs to the first polygon in the FID nest buffer or the area, and also to the area with the FID number 30. We'll select this one and right click zoom to. So as you can see it is totally inside of uh, one of these circles around these nests and so it belongs to both of them. We will use this information um, as an identificator later on for our cuttable areas. So what we will need to do now is we will use these features or these geometries and the geometries from stands F to create a new union which will then be asked for whether we can cut trees over there or not. So the input features are now no cut areas and stands F. We will store it here in our database and say OK. Union takes some time as well. So in this one we had about 2,000 features. Uh, I'm not sure how many these features will be. So now I'm a little bit disappointed. We'll just remove this one and also this one due to the fact that the union of both of them should include every um, every circle as well so we'll just 
create a new union and say you have no cut areas and the stands F. We'll store it here just to make sure that everything is working fine. It could be due to some kind of selection I've done there. Cut areas underscore two and just say OK. So now it's writing features. I hope this will work now. So keep in mind I had selected a feature prior. So now I'm, I have unselected everything. So I hope it's working fine now. I will add this to the display again. And there we are. Just to change the color here. Here you now have um, the whole area. And these are now, uh, this is now the union out of the geometries of no cut areas, marked here in blue, or in this lightish blue, and also the stands F, marked here in darker blue. No, let's keep this. Use this color. So these both features were joined each uh, or union unioned, and we'll go here into detail and have a look here on the upper part. So the upper part is quite important. The, there, these circle of features are areas where you have um, where you have your buffer zones from the. Uh, from the bird's nest. So the stream buffer here is minus one, no cut areas is three to three, which means it is part of the no cut areas. Let's use this one here. Also three to three. Let's go to this one. You will have or you're having here now be a little bit more specific. I think the, um, the snapping tolerance is a little bit too heavy. So these are all having FIDs from no cut areas. So they are part of the no cut areas. And the FID from the nest buffer was the totally original one. I'm searching now for the FID from the stand ID that is there. So we will do a selection on the FID from no cut areas. And this FID from no cut areas should be less than one. We'll click on apply. Click on close. I'll zoom to the layer. So to me, it looks like that these areas are available for cutting trees, and we will, or we can come up with the uh, symbology tab. We will choose unique values. Let's say no cut areas. I will now add all values or no. Or maybe quantities. Oh, there's a label field. And as you can see, the label should be less than one. So let's stick with that one. And let's go with two classes. And let's say the break value here is now zero. 
Okay. Okay, let's have a look here. This is one possibility. So you are now having here. Um, I'll just uncheck the this one. You are now having here uh, marked in red the areas where you cannot or where you are not allowed to cut trees and um, areas where you can cut trees. So you can also adjust the label here in a moment. So these are areas where you are where you can find cut areas and these are no cut areas and click on OK. So this is one possibility. And I hope this one is another. Well, probably not. So just leave it in a moment like this. Otherwise, keep uh, keep a look or have a look in my last video tutorials regarding the uh, expression of um, of areas. But this is it now for the moment. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.